Hi, I'm the Bomb, and in this video I'll be guiding you to the third encounter in the trial of the Crusader, the Faction Champions. Since there is no real strategy going into this fight, I will try to explain it as best as possible. The Faction Champions is a PvP style encounter in which you fight 10 bosses on 25 men and 6 on 10 men. Multiple forms of interrupts and crowd control are highly recommended. The different combinations of bosses is plentiful. This list includes Death Knight, Boomkin, Resto Druid, Hunter, Mage, Heladin, Redidin, Holy Priest, Shadow Priest, Rogue, Melee Shaman, Caster Shaman, Resto Shaman, Warlock, and a Warrior. All these class combinations can and will use their respective abilities to their advantage to, as my raid leaders say, rape your mouth. Similar to PvP, you want to kill the healers first so no one else obtains heals. The ideal way to do this is to crown control as many other bosses as you possibly can while having DPS burn down each healer individually. All these bosses are susceptible to all forms of CC, but like PvP, the duration of them is reduced to about 10 seconds, so alternating CC is important because of diminishing returns. For example, if you have a mage polymorphing one boss and a warlock fearing another, and they both cast their respective CCs three times, have them switch targets because the next cast a target will be immune. When they switch, they cast their CC three times in a new enemy and switch and continue to do that throughout the fight. However, if any class has a CC breaking ability, be assured they will use it. Once the healers have been defeated, it's just a matter of solo burning the rest of the DPS while CC remains under control. The final thing you should know about the faction champions is that they can't really be tanked. They will choose a random player to beat on for a few seconds and then switch targets. Healers need to be real quick on the target getting hit because it may occur they have more than one of the champions on them which requires really heavy heals. I guess the only thing left to do is tell you about some popular class abilities that you should know about when doing this fight. I will not list off all the abilities of the class since that is too much, but I will tell you specific abilities you should know about. The warrior is an arms warrior like myself. He will cast abilities like Fear, Bladestorm, Disarm, and Mortal Strike. Bladestorm is very deadly and no one should ever be near him when he casts this or that will wreck you. Mortal Strike reduces the amount of healing the target obtains by 50%. Death Knights will use Diseases, Death Grip, and that Frost Trap they have. The Resto Druid will cast Hots, Nourish, and Regrowth, while the Boomkin will cast multiple Druid spells along with Entangling Roots. The Hunter has a pet and will use multiple traps against you. The mage will blink, frost trap, and polymorph you. Both paladins can bubble themselves and the rest of the bosses. It would be helpful if you had a warrior in the raid for their shattering throw ability. The heladin will cast flash of light and holy light, while the redadin will do abilities like repentance, hammer of justice, and consecration. The holy priest will cast healing abilities as well as hots and use their power word shield. Both priests will use fear. The rogue will stun you, apply poisons, disarm you, cast fan and knives, and blind you. The shamans can use heroism or bloodlust, hex, and all sorts of totems which should be killed. Finally, the Warlock will fear, use Demonic Circle, spawn his pet, and do Hellfire, which is another AoE that should be interrupted.
I'm not used to fights like these where there isn't really a strat for it, so I do apologize if there wasn't much of that in this video, but please do add or ask questions if you are wondering something. PvP gear can be beneficial, but it isn't required. No one in this video was using any PvP gear and we successfully downed the encounter. However, if you can spare a trinket for a medallion of the Alliance or Horde, it could help you in terms of major CC on you. At this time, I'd like to thank you for watching and wish you luck on your encounter. If you have any questions regarding this boss or any other, feel free to ask since I have not posted a video for it yet. If you'd like to add something to this video, feel free to post a video response or leave a comment below. Thanks and see you next time.